In this session, I'll be detailing you about one class of fungus, which is oomycetes. When we talk about oomycetes, they are also called algal fungi. Why? Because they have something related to algae. And what is that? They have cellulose. If you remember, I've told you that cell wall of fungus is made up of chitin. But they are the class of the fungus where you will have cellulosic cell wall. Based upon this particular thing, there are many questions coming. Like they would ask you the cellulosic cell wall in among fungus is found in. Your answer would be oomycetes. But sometimes they won't give oomycetes as one of the options. They will give you oomycetes members. So Phytophthora, Pythium. They are the members of what you call oomycetes class. So you should remember, sometimes they will just write you the examples and then you will have to tick that cellulosic cell wall is present in that particular member of oomycetes. Now when you talk about oomycetes, they have what you call aquatic habitat, like they are basically preferring aquatic system. They also grow on decaying wood or damp areas. They are obligate parasites on plants. When we talk about structure, because they are phycomycetes, remember I've told you in phycomycetes we'll be talking about oomycetes and zygomycetes. Both of them are aseptate. Aseptate means there are no septa between the hyphae. When there are no septa, they are multinucleated or xenocytic. The cell wall, I've already told you, it's cellulosic. Because of that, they are called algal fungi. When you talk about reproduction, the asexual reproduction which takes place here is through sporangiospores. I've told you about sporangiospores, those are endogenous spore. When you talk about sexual reproduction, out of those five methods, they show gametangial contact. So if you can talk about the members, the members are very important. One important member of this particular class is Phytophthora infestans. Now when you talk about Phytophthora infestans, it causes very important disease called late blight of potato. Now in potato, there are seen like two fungal diseases, which is late blight, another is early blight. Now early blight is because of deuteromycetes members, so don't what you call confuse between late blight and early blight. Early blight is because of a deuteromycetes member and late blight is because of a oomycetes member which is called Phytophthora infestans. And this disease was having what you call one, one very common impact which was what you call the famine in Ireland. The Ir Ireland famine, famine, it's because of late blight of potato. Late blight of potato which was caused by Phytophthora infestans has caused Ireland famine. Now what happens in the second what you call fungus, second oomycetes member which is called albigo candida which cause what you call white rust of crucifers. You must be knowing about cruciferaceae family which is also called brassicaceae. So among brassicaceae members the white rust has been caused by albigo candida. The third name called pythium. Now pythium causes jumping off in seedling and uh, so seedlings of tomatoes and chili. So the seedlings will be what dumping off. Next is saprolangia. So saprolangia causes salmon disease in the gills of fishes. Now what you call, remember these two names which are very important, Phytium or Phytophthora. Both of these names are asked that which among the what you call fungus member will have cellulosic cell wall. Answer would be Eumycetes member but most of the time these members are asked either Phytophthora or Pythium. So next class I'll be talking about the description of Zygomycetes.